about 3.5% of all unvaccinated local cases had a more severe illness requiring either oxygen supplementation, ICU care, and this contrasts with 0.6% of all, un, uh, all vaccinated cases. Just over 17% of those who are infected with COVID-19 infection were people above the age of 60 years. Proportionally, more people who are older are hospitalized with severe infections, need oxygen supplementation, or need ICU care. And when I look further into the data of those who are infected above the age of 60 years, there is a proportion of those who are not vac uh, fully vaccinated trending upwards, whilst those who are fully vaccinated, that proportion has correspondingly decreased over time. The overall risk of infected COVID-19 patients who need oxygen supplementation, ICU care or who have died is 8.1% of all unvaccinated people, and this compares to 1.4% for fully vaccinated people. This means there's a relative risk of 5.8 times more for an unvaccinated person to get a severe infection compared to, unvaccinated, uh, compared to vaccinated people. And if I only focus on those who were ever in ICU or those who had passed away, the relative risk for the unvaccinated persons is 10.4%. For those who have died from COVID-19 infection, the unvaccinated and infected persons had a relative risk of dying of 11.7% higher than that in vaccinated people. For those of you who believe that you are younger and so do not need to get vaccinated because your chance of getting severely ill or needing ICU care is low, you should note that those infected with COVID-19 and even between the ages of 60 and 69 years carries a higher risk of needing oxygen supplementation, ICU care or dying. That risk is 27.8% if you're unvaccinated versus 2.1% if you're vaccinated. And that means you are 13 times more likely to have these requirements needing higher care, needing ICU care, or even dying if you are not vaccinated. So please don't be complacent and assume that your younger age sufficiently protects you from need not needing vaccination. It doesn't, particularly if you have chronic medical conditions like diabetes, hypertension, heart disease, chronic lung conditions, cancer, or if you're immunocompromised, or if you're even obese. Tragically, we have seen people delaying vaccinations because they were complacent and thought they would not fall sick, only to find themselves not only infected, but also in the ICU. Others have thought that their beloved seniors were protected by staying at home and not needing vaccinations. The facts show otherwise. So if you're still remaining unvaccinated, I strongly urge you to step forward and get vaccinated now. I strongly urge all who have not vaccinated yet to step forward to do so. This is not only to reduce your risk of getting infected, but particularly of getting a severe infection or dying from COVID-19.